Native TV. We're down here at St. James's Park. As you can see in the background, we've got Matt here from the Magby channel and uh, we're going to review the game. Uh, it's the big one, uh, opening game of the season for both teams. Arsenal taking on Newcastle United. And uh, Matty, you know what? I, I, first thing I'll ask you is, uh, are you even going to be there? Because I'm hearing that you know Newcastle fans planning to boycott the game. Mm. Boycott Arsenal. That's the that's the plan. <laughs> boycott the season. We didn't renew our season ticket, but we may have second thoughts upon that because apparently there's not enough numbers that are going to boycott the game. I mean, we're probably looking at about five, ten thousand. Not enough. It has to be at least thirty thousand to, to have an effect. Really, twenty thousand on cameras. Twenty thousand to affect Matty Arsenal's back pocket. A lot of fans haven't renewed, but a few new signings lately have kind of given people hope and I think when it comes to it you know we've been missing all summer looking forward to it all summer I think a lot of fans tomorrow will just end up getting through the gates unfortunately so you think you'll be about five ten thousand fans down on capacity I uh, apparently there was about six and a half thousand eight thousand tickets available but obviously without season ticket holders that aren't going to go tomorrow there's a whole campaign around here support our tune like go to local bars watch the game instead mm. I mean if you're not going to boycott the game on the first game of the season on a Sunday on Sky when are you ever going to buy a game, Robbie? Mm. Like, this is the chance to show, Mike, actually, that we're not here for the take. And we've had 12 years of it now. We've had enough. It's time to show a stance. It's time to not go at the game. It's a shame because obviously we want to back the lads. Don't really mm. want to back Steve Bruce. No one's him here. But watch it on Sky. Watch it in the pub. Um, mm. Hopefully, there'll be at least 10,000 not there. But at the end of the day, it's, I'll be surprised if there is. Wow, it's going to be a bit of doom and gloom because I remember you messaged me, right? Um, David, a couple of months you, ago. Someone, yeah, I've got to bring it up, all right? <laughs> a couple of months ago, he messaged me and he goes, uh, that was when you were looking at getting in these new owners. And, I, I, yeah, and you was telling me that, Robbie, don't be surprised you turn up here. First game of the season, Mbappe will be here. Shakes Neymar Neymar will be here. It's this all gone south since <laughs> Steve Bruce is here now. <laughs> I, mean, I, I spent my summer dreaming of Jose Mourinho and killing Mbappe. I, I woke up and it was uh, Steve Bruce and uh, Andy Carroll. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on, to be honest. But well, it's Mike Ashley. He's apparently, he was, he was too greedy, wasn't he? Apparently, that's why the deal fell through. So is that deal not happening at all now? Apparently not, now. Apparently it's dead in the water. You had a mate actually quoting the other day, what's 10 million, the billionaires. I think he just kept on pushing it and pushing it. Apparently he wanted full control of the club shop. He still wanted full control of kit sales. He still wanted sports direct advertising boarded everywhere around the ground. He just, he just, he just took the piss from because he knows he can. And he, he doesn't want to sell. It's a constant money making machine. He's never going to go until he wants to go. So we're stuck with him, unfortunately. Well, I feel it for you guys, man. And I know that there's been a couple of guys who've from uh, up here who's got in contact with us and said that, you know, any Arsenal fan going to their ground shouldn't buy anything in there, don't buy no drinks. And I think a lot of Arsenal fans are supporting that tomorrow as well. Good. Hopefully you will, yeah, because mm. it's the only way we're going to force Mike Ashley out the door because he's a man defined by greed. And it's the only thing he understands. Is if he's not making money, then you may think, oh, hold on a minute, maybe I should jump ship here, but at the minute, it's just it's the best business ever, in it? He's mm. not going to get a better business opportunity here. We've seen it with Perez, the likes of the players. He's buying young, selling on. Perez, one and a half million, sold a few years later, 30 million. Why would you leave? Yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's a weird feeling because, as I said, a couple of months ago when we spoke, it was like the other way around. I was the one with the doom and gloom. Yeah, I, I was the one saying, boy, our owners ain't spending, our owners this, our owners that. Actually, our owners have kind of delivered this transfer window. You know what I mean? Nicolas Pepe, um, David Lu um, Luiz, uh, Sabeos, Saliba, you know what I mean? Um, Kieran Tierney. It's been a very good transfer window for Arsenal. And a lot of Arsenal fans are coming here um, tomorrow pretty confident, even though our waveform is still <laughs> something that we always worry about. We, we did win there last season. And I think kind of fueled by the fact that it's, we know that it's not going quite great here. So mm. it's kind of a nice time for us to catch you. Steve Bruce, you're not all too behind him. No. The new signings, what are they going to be like? Are they going to be able to settle in? I mean, I, I was... Last year, you know, with guys like Rondon Perez, you're really worried about them. The new guys, you don't know. You know, it takes players time to settle. So we're feeling a little bit more optimistic. Um, well, how do you feel about the game? Well, that's what I mean. I mean, Hughes must be coming here thinking if we can get a goal early on, how toxic is it going to turn very quickly here at St. James' Park because nobody's behind the manager. The signings are unknown, even though they the, the are exciting. The mm. Joel Linton should be a great player. St. Maximin, yeah. flary player. But at the, I mean, at the end of the day, if you just come here and get on the front foot, it all depends tomorrow, I think, on the start 11s. It really does. Yeah. Obviously, Lacazette is a doubt, isn't he? Um, Lacazette's a doubt, yeah. Pepe might not play. Played. Well, you didn't feature against I Barcelona. I don't think Pepe will play. And actually, yeah, you won't see many of the new signings. And, and 
uh, also there's this thing with Urzil well, and uh, Kolasinac. They, they, they won't be here either. Tierney's not ready yet, is he? That's Tierney's still, not still ready yet, no. So I think, honestly, like you fancy chances, but if we turn up, we quite fancy our chances on the slide, to be honest with you, because if it was a full strength Arsenal side and you had those front three of Aubameyang, Lacazette and uh, Pepe firing, mm. uh, you'd be runaway winners, no doubt about it. But with your, your defence not ready yet, obviously you haven't got Tierney, you haven't got what you, you would be calling your best back four mm. in a month or so time. We think of our front three and get off firing, Joel on Maxman, Almiron, lots mm. of pace up there, lots of strength, lots of technical ability. The first goal could be huge, defining the, the, the atmosphere around the ground and maybe the result in the game. Mm. What about you guys? Have you got anybody who's, who's out or is more or less the, you've got a full fit squad? More or less a fully fit squad for Newcastle. I, I think it, the thing was, since Bruce has came in, he's kept the same formation, he's kept the wing backs. We've added to that with Williams, the mm. uh, left back from, from Germany, the, the Dutch international. And then we've added it with St. Maximin, an exciting uh, French winger, I was full of flair, mm. we'll get fans off the seats. Exciting player, Joel Linton's had a good pre-season, got a couple of goals. So if our front 11's going well, we could, we could cause an upset and I'm quietly confident that maybe sneaking a 2-1, a but honestly, mm. there could be goals, it could be a 3-3 or something like that, it really could, depending yeah. on who you play. Yeah, it's always really hard to predict a, you know, games at the start of a new season. Because as you said, nothing, really, lots of new players, Lots of changes. You really don't know who's going to. You've seen it already with some of the games that we've seen today. You know, what I mean, teams like you know, who'd have thought Brighton would win three 0 You know, what I mean, so you, you've seen it already. So, but I don't know. Uh, Arsenal have had a very good preseason. Mm. You know, they've played pretty well. So, but you're right. You do make some good points there. That there's going to be a lot of players missing for Arsenal, and um, it's going to be a really interesting game. Like you said, if we can get off to a quick start. You know, um, who knows? I mean, the one player I would say that's looked very, very sharp for Arsenal in pre-season is the main man from last year, Bamiang. He's, yeah. he, he's been looking in pre-season, he's been looking as sharp as a razor. Um, I, I, I think he might have a bit of joy here tomorrow. He, he's going to be the guy you guys are going to have to contain. Him, uh, I've got him triple cutting in my fantasy team. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be a soft touch for him. I reckon uh, a good, like maybe him and Julian on both to score, but... Uh, ben Yang, yeah, you know, he was, he was here in Newcastle years ago. I don't know if you know when he was at the Olympics and we were linked with him, but we didn't want to pay the money for him. Goodness me, imagine. Well, he'd be sold by now anyway, under Meg Ashley, <laughs> under Meg Ashley but he's, he'll be a great player tomorrow. He's, he's yeah. one of the best in the league. He's, he's definitely one of the best strikers then. But our defence, one of our best points last season was we were so solid at the back. Mm. But it's a case of can Steve Bruce carry that on because under Rafa Benitez, it was renowned for a defensive yeah, heart and beat yeah, style yeah. of play. I think Bruce is going to un unleash the lashes a little bit more. All right, well, listen, looking forward to the game. I'm not sure if you are. You, 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 you sound like you kind of are, and then you, <laughs> I, I, I get all the the protest stuff and all that, right? So predictions. Two two. Two two. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for two one. I, 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 I'm I'm going two one Arsenal. <laughs> I, I kind of go with what you're saying about the, if we can get that early goal. We we need to get off to a fast start. If we can get off to a fast start, it might get you guys. You know turning on the owner and so mm. I think that's what we need to try and do yeah. get off to a really fast start a goal or two and then you know we could but if you guys get off to a fast start I know what it's like here when the crowd do, do get behind um, the team so looking forward to the game um, Arsenal versus Newcastle don't forget to check out Matty's channel the Magpie channel um, brilliant channel they they cover all things Newcastle but yeah looking forward to it mate yeah, as well. See you Cheers. Thanks, man.